Okay, Lotus. Five-speed transmission out of my 1976 Lotus Elite. Uh, I have not found many. Uh, I, sh I should say I haven't found any videos on anyone working on these. Which uh, So I guess I'm doing it uh, by the book, and that's it. So uh, this will be the start. Uh, Going to get the book out, start doing the pages, uh, tar drain oil, take the covers off. You put it in third gear before you take the gear cover off. Uh, all this is because we have one bearing in there that is shot in between the first and second motion shaft, causing vibration in every gear except for fourth. So, um, this is the start of this job. Okay, I've removed the gear shift linkage and taken the top cover off. And this is a very good view of the internals. Uh, still a little bit of oil in it. First thing is I'll get that oil out and then move on from there. Okay, cover for the shifting. Uh, shift lever has been removed. Don't know how well you can see. There's a couple little spots of rust inside there. This thing's been sealed up for a couple years. Uh, so... That's interesting. Have to clean them up when it's out. But uh, next thing is to remove this tail shaft assembly. Tail shaft assembly. Uh, let's see. Tail shaft assembly is removed by simply the three bolts on this side, and then there's a nut on that side and two bolts on that side. So uh, pretty straightforward. And the book says remove those, and it should come straight off. Okay, so the tail shaft has been removed, fairly straight process. You just have to uh, kind of slowly tap it in order to get out. It does sit on dowel pin there, and another dowel pin on the other side. And you get it around the shifter uh, arm there, and it comes out. So, uh, let's just go over. I'm going to... There, I think that's fifth. Okay. Okay, Lotus five-speed gearbox out of a '76 Elite. So the actual issues uh, that I was experiencing with this and many other boxes that I've come to is vibration in every gear except for fourth, which has to do with the uh, first and second motion shaft, and there's a bearing in between, which wears. So, um, two things. I'm taking this off down to this point, basically pulling all the covers off. Uh, what I find is that if you can see here, let's see if I can do this, steady this. That's some of the play there's a bearing in there the other play is actually right here you see the little bubbles uh, right up top here I don't think there should be that much play between the bearing and its locating ring I think that's been some of the problem. So, uh, so that accounts for a lot of the vibration issues. Now, if we, other things um, are that in the front cover here, there is a, let's see if we can see it well. There's a pushing, there's a, a ring in here, a spacer, that is uh, measured for thickness. But I don't know how well you'd be able to see it, but do you see the wear? Let me see if I can do it right in here. Um, see how it's worn? And I attribute that to the bearing here. Oh, God, sorry. Uh, the bearing here is can spin in so this bearing is spinning and because it was able to spin it was wearing that spacer 
So that's what I got out of that. So where do I go from here? Well, uh, I have another box or two. So I'll get to those boxes and check out their spacers and this fit. And if the fit's the same in all the boxes, then uh, I guess that's saying something about either they're all worn or uh, it's meant to be that way. And until this case goes tight against it, it doesn't hold it in place. But either the spacer in here wasn't correct, allowing the bearing to spin, and which caused failure. Uh, just There's too much play there. I'll have to figure out if that ring, the outer ring, can be exchanged with a different box, or if it's part of the casing, and I'll just swap it with another casing I have. So, more investigation, but that's where we're at now with this Lotus 5-speed out of a 76 Elite. Um, it drove well, except for the vibration. And in general, the vibration is in fourth gear there's no vibration because everything locks together it's it's a a one-to-one -one ratio but in every other gear uh these they spin independently so uh they spin with a ratio so that's why you get the vibration more there but uh, i think i've solved what this box's issue was so uh, i'll find out more if anyone has a comment about um, that, this wear here, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, quick follow-up to the um, spacer ring that was in the front shaft here. You might notice the way it's worn two pieces now. So, that's... Uh, so we say that's a problem there. Um, so we'll figure out that belongs in there. So definitely that's war. Whether it was the right size to begin with, don't know. But we'll see.